Dave's FSC Speed Shop. Today will be a little interesting day for us because we've got to do a lot of unloading, one load, and then the rest unloading again. Kind of a complicated story, but I'll make it real simple. We're getting ready to go drop off the piece I picked up, or rather the two pieces I picked up out there in Connecticut, the stuff that's under the tarp. Then we're going to shoot across Wisconsin over to Random Lake where a subscriber is donating Brock a uh, riding lawnmower. Uh, that goes back to a video I did a while back where uh, Brock was doing a lawnmower with a buddy of his who's no longer a buddy of his. And rather than simply give Brock back his mower, he decided to trash the mower and destroy it and then give Brock back the mower. So we did a little video about that. So a subscriber is donating a lawnmower for him riding types and as far as I'm concerned from what I can tell Brock is actually going to make out like a bandit because he's going from some pile of crap to a John Deere so you green tractor fans ought to be pretty happy with that from there we're going to go back up to FSC HQ and drop off everything else which includes the motorcycle from Matthew the 12B71 Detroit for me, and of course, get Brock his lawnmower, and he'll come pick it up. That's what today's supposed to be like. Let's see how it plays out. Hopefully, it'll play out according to plan. I just jumped off the interstate. Shut it. I just jumped off the interstate, and we're getting ready to go deliver this piece under the tarp. So, with that, stay tuned.
bike can go in if you want. <laughs> now you guys only get this. Oh, okay. <sighs> yeah, it'd be a couple more minutes. It's gonna fold up and yep, do my right. stuff off it. Hope, hope you can make sense of all that. Somebody will. I'm sure. My kids that's going home with me right let's go bike you be my dad's well, apparently that guy's like the Vulcan walk in or why don't I let's I take it they weren't actually in a hurry for it. Uh, we just got to be seeing the other day, so let's just set it up. Oh, it's here. Right. Whatever it is. <laughs> Almost always the same. Other people's stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing I'll be touching. <laughs> this is the only time I'm gonna have my fingers on it. There you are. It's like a giant erector set. Hopefully the instructions came with it. Exactly. I picked up whatever papers I found, but I can't read none of it.
where we'll be meeting a subscriber that's uh, going to be donating Brock a lawnmower. We got Matt filming right now. Hopefully we'll have enough time for him to be on break or what have you with his school to help load this thing because it's going to be uh, we got to lift it, put it in his pickup truck and then bring it to where we're leaving the truck for a moment. And I'm not 100% on which... I keep saying KC's, but... It's at the corner and... K. Alright, we're gonna leave Orwell over here for a minute or three. We'll let John over here take us for a ride, go get this mower. Load it up in the back of the truck. Then we got Matt here because we gotta do this manually. Yeah. Shame we couldn't get Brock to come down. Or yeah, yeah that's a, cool. the gentleman or the gentleman that's looking for a mower like that? Yeah. Or it's, not a mower, but it, he's... Yeah, the tractor portion of it. Yeah, that's Brock. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's at he's at school right now. He's at school. How is uh, everybody's in is okay with the COVID that um, hasn't hit your house or? No, we already had it. Oh, you went through it already? Yeah, back in August. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's so when I was working on my boat. I was trying to get the, the manifolds on. That made it a little difficult. Oh, okay. So, I had just was going. I was walking outside. I was going to kill some dandelions, and I and I heard you go by. And I'm going, yep, there he is. And so. Yeah, I thought I looked at. Uh, on Google Maps, I thought the place right on the corner of K was where you were talking, and I passed it. I'm like, oh crap, all right, so I did a U turn over and I came back. Because that place of satellite looks like a gas station. It was a gas station at one time. It probably, that's yeah, probably the yeah. picture they're still using. Yep. This, is the, this is the tractor I got. It's a 116. The hood is, the hood is here is off because I've had issues. It's cracked here. Okay. On both sides. And it's cracked where inside where you where, where you bolt it on. Oh, okay. If I were going to keep it, I'd be replacing it, but I'm not going to I'm not going to replace keep it. No, yeah, I can send everything with him. He can make up his own hood, or if he wants to get a different hood for it, or whatever he wants. To oh, do I'm with. sure he can fix that up. Yeah, so we'll just take what you know, however it is, as it is. Yep. And uh, he'll just go ahead and take care of it when he when we get to him. Okay. Because he'll he'll uh we'll drop her off today at the shop. And uh, you should be able to come by today, right? Uh, yeah, towards like six o'clock. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so he'll come by about six and get it. Okay. So sweet. Otherwise, yeah, it, it fires up and everything. I, I was, I had some problems. That runs real quiet too. What was that engine that was in that pile of crap that Ryan beat up? I have no idea. I do not remember. It wasn't no big old 16 horse though. No, it was like, I'm pretty sure it's three and a half. Oh, no, no, three and a half was bigger than that. 16 horse V twin. Good lord. Where'd oh, you, um, well, Brock will be thrilled. You were in the same school with him, Brock? Oh, yeah, yeah. Me and him still go to the same school. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, Brock's a year older than him in yeah. school. So. He's a senior, I'm a junior, so okay. me and him hang out all the time in school. It's just, I'm with him for now, uh, right now doing virtual in the truck. So, once Yeah, we went to go see my, my uh, parents. So, that kind of turned into a whole, whole thing, so. And you, you did have a, a video on where you were there for Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was uh, last year. Last year. So yeah, we did a little. We did a little filming over there today. Well, yeah, I did that live with my mom. That was like three hours long. I was sitting in, sitting at yeah. the kitchen table with my mother, uh -huh. getting telling stories and whatnot. So she's probably feeling good enough to where oh. she don't mind being on camera now. Thank okay. God, because mm -hmm. she was feeling pretty miserable because she had all the medical problems because oh. she couldn't go to the doctor. Oh. Yeah, get that. They locked down New Jersey and everybody got sick from not going to the doctor. And my mom damn near died. Oh, okay, sorry. From to hear that. Yeah, well, she's doing much better now, so we're grateful to have her have her uh, back on the channel a little bit. That's good. Sweet. Um, your dad is on oxygen. When you were at the yeah, he's, he's there. yeah, he's got the oxygen hose. He's got uh, uh, COPD real bad. I mean, he uh, he smoked since he was like 15 years old. Oh, okay. Um, 
I think it was 96 okay. that he quit. And he felt a lot better, but now it's it's catching up to him now. So he's 74. Okay. So he's I, still I, moving around okay. I don't mean to ask those questions. I just, I seen his auction. Oh, no, 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 no. He's good. No, no, no. I, I don't, he's, matter of fact, we, we did a, we filmed him talking to Matt about the bike. He had the oxygen in his nose. His nose is, he's not uh, shy about it. It sucks, but he's still kicking around and doing his thing. That's good. Yeah, so Dad's doing good too. It's just as good as he can. He just can't ride no more. Oh, okay. just sucks. But it is what it is. Honestly, right now I'd let things calm down right now if I want to see New York because New York's dead. Like it's ghost town. You don't see traffic anymore. Really? Either. Well, think about it. If you lived in New York, who's they don't manufacture nothing, right? I'm I'm assuming it's all office work, okay. which everybody does at home. Who goes to work? Like literally, you can haul ass right through the Cross Bronx. You don't see hardly any traffic at all. Okay. You be like rush hour, forget. You see traffic from like exit 41 in Connecticut. You'd be you'd be hours just to get from there to get to the GWB. Okay. Man, you're through there in 30 minutes. Oh. Because there's no think about it. Nobody goes to work. You may as well. Everybody works home now, so it's like think about it. You built up. Here's a perfect example. You got the new the new Freedom Tower and they knocked down the Twin Towers, right? Yep. They don't manufacture anything, it's all office built. Okay. All office work can be done at home on our day. You may as well deconstruct that building because it's empty. They don't do anything. So okay. you know, the only thing you have to do is like janitorial work. But if nobody's in there doing office work, we need janitors for it. You may as well tear the building down, it's over. Do you um... So I'd let things calm down before like even like any kind of nightlife or any sightseeing comes oh. back for a while. Did you uh, did you move out of your shop now into the somewhere else? No, no, not yet. Oh, okay. Jesus. 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 Summertime. Oh, okay. Oh, it's being on the way. Cool. So, All right, well, give me a show on how to. All you have to do runner. is it's uh, a hydrostatic transmission. This is your forward and reverse. Oh, okay. And the parking brake is here. You got to push the brake brake down. Release. Release now. Oh, okay. And then turn the key and then, then pull the choke a little and then start it. Push the pedal and go forward. Oh, that's pretty easy. Alright, well, I guess uh, I'll follow you. He'll jump in a load bed. <laughs> 